Hello, David Smith here. Today's tutorial is going to be on Kirchhoff's second law and simultaneous equations. So let's get started. Okay, so the problem is, using Kirchhoff's second law, find the power dissipated across the 15 ohm resistor of the following circuit. Now if you need to familiarise yourself with simultaneous equations, please watch my other videos by using the above link. Now we're going to formulate two equations that can, we, we can solve simultaneously to do this. But first we need some more information. So let's add the currents to the circuit. So we have I1 I2 and I1 plus I2. Now we have the currents, we can use the Ohm's triangle to give us the voltages across each resistor with respect to the current and resistance. So I'll just draw the Ohm's triangle just to refresh your memory. So for the 20 Ohm resistor we have twenty times I one, which is twenty ohms times the current I one. For the ten ohm resistor, the voltage would be ten times I two. 10 ohms times I2 and for the 15 ohm resistor we would have 15 times I1 plus I2 now we need to find the values of I1 and I2 so to do this we use a technique called simultaneous equations now to formulate the equations we use Kirchhoff's second law which states that the sum of voltages around a loop must be equal to zero. So as we can see from our diagram we have a left hand loop and we have a right hand loop. So for the left hand loop we have 20 I1 plus 15 I1 plus I2 equals 10. Now if we multiply out the brackets and collect the like terms we have 35 I1 plus 15 I2 equals 10. So we have our first equation there, so I'll label that number 1. Now for the right hand loop, we have 10 I2 plus 15 I1 plus I2 equals 12. So again multiplying out the brackets and collecting the like terms I have 15 I1 plus 25 I2 equals 12 and I'll label that number 2. So I now have my two equations that I can solve simultaneously. OK, so here we have the two simultaneous equations. So from these, we now need to find the value of I1 and I2. So the first thing we need to do is look at how we can eliminate one of the unknowns, either I1 or I2. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to have a go at this yourself. 
and then I'll come back to you and I'll work through the example. Right, welcome back. Right, so here's what I do. I'd say multiply 1 by 3 to give 105i1 plus 45i2 which equals 30 and we'll label that as number 3. Now we need to multiply number 2 by 7 and this again will give us 105i1 plus 175i2 equals 84 and we'll label that number 4 and now as you can see we have two of these values the same so we can actually eliminate them in the next next part of the process so if we say subtract 3 from 4 this will give us 130i2 equals 54 so i2 equals 54 divided by 130 which equals 0 0.4154 amps okay so I made a note of i2 in the top right hand corner so if I now plug that value into equation 2 this gives 15 i1 plus 25 times 0 0.4154 equals 12 so I have 15 i1 plus 10.3850 equals 12 and I1 equals 12 minus 10.3854 divided by 15 which equals 0 0.10 amps. So I now have my value for I1 and I2. So here I have the value for I1 and I2. Now the current flowing through the 15 ohm resistor is I1 plus I2 which equals 0 0.5231 amps. So from the ohms triangle we have V equals I times R. So we know the current now which is 0 0.5231 times that by the 15 and we get the voltage across the resistor of 7.8460 volts. So from that we can now find the power dissipated across the 15 ohm resistor. So P equals V times I, the volts times the current, which equals 7.8460 times 0 0.5231, which equals 4.1042 watts. The unit of power is the watt, so it's 4.1042 watts. Rounding it off, it equals 4.1 watts. So we've now answered the question and we've found the power dissipated by the 15 ohm resistor. So thanks for watching. If you have any specific questions you would like me to work through, drop me a line in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.